What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in with another quick Destiny 2 update. And in today's video we get a new patch for the game that brings a few important fixes, including changes to Essence of Oversoul drops inside of the Crota Zen raid. Bungie have also said that they're going to let the master version of Crota Zen go live now. But additionally in the patch there are a bunch of bug fixes and updates for content this season. Bungie also say this patch will fix a bunch of issues with the weapon crafting glitch, so the majority of items associated with that glitch will now be fixed according to that, although some of them may remain. But on top of that they give us some extra previews and more gameplay of the upcoming supers for the Final Shape expansion, so there are quite a few things to talk about in this one. It'll be a short and sweet update today as I'm still away from home, but we'll cover the important stuff. And if you enjoy the video be sure to get subscribed for more content, but without further delay let's get into it. And so firstly, with the patch that's just gone live in the game, Bungie have said, with the 7204 update tomorrow, weapon crafting will largely go back to expected behaviours, illegitimate frames and perks on crafted weapons will be replaced with legitimate ones, and any attempt to craft new out-of-bounds weapons will kick the player to the login screen. On top of that though, with these fixes, we feel comfortable releasing the Master Crota Zen Raid mode and Checkmate Control Modifier in Crucible Labs, so those two pieces of content should be going live in the game now. I can't verify that personally, as I'm not able to access the game at this precise moment, but it sounds like on the most part the weapon crafting bug will be fixed, although we'll have to wait and see, and hopefully Crota Zen Master and the Checkmate Control Modifier will be live, so let us know if you plan to jump into those. There are additional patch notes though for 7204, the update that's just gone live in the game, so for Crucible, Bungie say they fixed an issue allowing for exploitation of spawns in Rift. On top of that, another issue where you can weaken other guardians when the Rapid Fire Ranger Artifact perk is active. So a couple of minor things there, on top of that though, seasonal items right here and they fixed an issue where Arc Attunement runes could be destroyed with certain weapons. And then moving on to the activity and reward stuff, for Crota's End, they say we now have improved Essence of the Oversoul drop rates for full clears and repeated clears, so I believe now we're guaranteed to get at least two inside of a full run, but encounters themselves have an improved drop chance, and there's even a chance at the end of the raid to get a full bundle of all of the Essence of Oversoul required to complete the quest for Necrochasm, so hopefully that's going to make the Necrochasm quest generally much easier and far quicker to complete. Give us your thoughts about that down below. But additionally, for Altars of Summoning, they say we fixed an issue where the Void Crystal encounter would not progress if the crystals were destroyed too quickly during the third phase. And that takes us on to gameplay and investment, where they fixed an issue where players could activate their Glaive melee while in Weave Walk. That's an interesting one. And for armor, a bunch of items here. They fixed an issue where changing a mod on an equipped item during an equipment locked activity could boot you from the activity. Another issue where damage resistance from Elemental Embrace was applying to damage done in PvP. And they fixed an issue where Jolt from an Arc Elemental Orb was applying to game objects. And finally, one where second filaments were granting Overload Anti-Champion to weapons that already have Anti-Champion intrinsically. For weapons and accessories though, they fixed an issue where changing a mod on an equipped item during an equipment locked activity could boot you from the activity. Another where Husk of the Pit and Eidolon Ally would be missing their weapon fire sound effects on console platforms. But finally, on top of that, they added the Wendigo Grenade Launcher and Hung Jury Scout Rifle to Legacy Vanguard Ops Focus In. So for any folks working on getting better rolls on those, there will now be more opportunities to do that via focusing. But finally, for power and progression, they fixed an issue where the minor Arcana Empowered rewards didn't function as intended, and opening a Season of the Witch chest while using a Witch's Key at the end of the Legendary Savathun Spire will now properly give a deep side seasonal weapon if there are any remaining to find. On top of that, otherwise it will give a high stat seasonal piece of class appropriate armor. So a bit of a reward buff right there from Legendary Sabbath Inspire. And the very final item from the patch is that they fixed an issue with the Bull Bull Terang emblem in which it didn't appear in game and couldn't be equipped. I'm not even sure what emblem that actually is. Let us know down below if you know what it is, but those are the patch notes they outline right there. The post about the weapon crafting glitch was actually from yesterday, so despite the fact that it isn't mentioned specifically in the patch notes, I would assume that those fixes have gone live. Give us your experiences in game down in the comment section. The very final thing to mention right here, a bunch have just posted three little preview clips of some of the upcoming supers in the final shape, so we get to see a few more of their capabilities, aspects and fragments and various bits of functionality in some sort of live gameplay that Bungie have posted from playtest. So we're going to finish the video by playing all of those right here. But as always, I hope this one has been useful. If it has, a rating below really does help us out on the channel. Also be sure to get subscribed and I'll keep you posted with more Destiny content. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in today and I will catch you guys very soon.
I got access here. Just use your use the access to try to finish here. Keep it done. Keep it done. Oh yeah, use the access. <laughs> Chop him up. Get him. Oh, this is actually good damage. Yo, look at that. That is insane. Uh, oh, oh, oh. 